Hey, hi, hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Indy's chugging water because we just got back from a walk and I think I'm gonna do our night routine. I just posted the first week, or the first day of vlog week, like an hour ago. Then we just went on a walk and we, we usually we go on like a 45 minute walk. But yeah, we just got back from our walk and I think it'd be fun to do a little night routine. Big routine person, especially at nighttime. I like unwinding. Like when I'm at home and Matt's at golf right now, so he plays like the simulation golf. So like they hit it into a projection screen. I don't know, it doesn't sound fun to me, but what do I know? Men, I have the whole house to myself. So I figured tonight would be the perfect night to do the night routine because I can do it to my liking. Cause he's not gonna be home until like 10.30. Perfection. Ever since daylight savings times, we've been moving our walks to the evenings because it doesn't get late until like 7.30 in the morning now and it's just like too late to start my day to wait for that and then do it. So I kind of like unwinding and it's not too hot yet. So it's been really nice. It's been like 75, 80 during our walks and we go on a long walk. Tonight was a little bit shorter because I was late with uploading this the vlog that went up yesterday. So we only got to walk for 40 minutes today, which was still fine because I walked a ton when I was editing that video. I walked like 5,000 steps. Perfect, I'm gonna end my workout. The app that I use is called Build the Steps app and this is my favorite part. It like goes up and shows you exactly. It's I love it. Um, but your iPhone also tracks your steps. I don't know if people know that like for free. Your iPhone comes with an, a health app and go in there and just turn on steps and then you just have to carry your phone with you. Even on my treadmill, when I'm walking and editing, I just stick my phone in my pants or like literally in my shoe or in my sports bra. So it does have to be on you at all times. So that's why even if I don't hit 10,000 steps sometimes, I'm like, okay, I definitely did, but I just like wasn't on my phone all day or like my phone was charging, whatever. It's just like a nice goal. And I found that having an app and like kind of making a game out of it has made it me the most consistent I've been. I didn't get to work out today, which is totally fine um, because I worked out yesterday, which was a Sunday. And normally I don't work out on Sunday, but my solid core class, like class pack, I had one class left to use because I do four a month. It was gonna expire if I didn't use it yesterday. So I went and worked out yesterday, so I'm totally, cool not working out on a Monday, but I just made sure to get my steps in. On days that I don't work out, I make sure I hit my eight to 10,000 steps goal. And that's realistic to me. So I went from, before I went on these intentional walks, I would get maybe a thousand steps a day. But working from a thousand steps to 4,000 steps a day was a huge increase for me. Meet yourself where you are. Don't feel like just because like some influencer you look up to walks 10,000 steps that you have to get 10,000 steps. Wherever you are, just kind of look at your health app, see where you've been, try to increase it a thousand steps a week or every other day until you get to around like 8,000. Current research has found that 8,000 steps is where you actually start to see those health benefits, the cardiovascular health, longevity, all of that. You don't actually need the 10,000 steps. 8,000 is usually good for the average person. So I like to just aim for 8,000 steps a day. If I get 10,000, if I get more, that's totally fine. If I get less some days and more other days, it averages out. So I'm not always crazy about it. I try to finish work by around like 5.36 every day which is sometimes difficult if I'm like filming a dinner recipe or something, but I make sure that I'm on my walk with Indy by around 6.30 at the latest. Cause I try to walk until 7.30, 7.40 because then it starts to get dark and I don't want to be out. And I like to do about an hour long walk, pending the weather, as long as it's not like raining or anything. So that's what we've been doing. She's exhausted now, <laughs> which is great. I feel good. And I'm about to make a really yummy dinner and I'll show you, but actually I'm gonna do my skincare. I'm gonna take all, I filmed a little bit today, so I put on some light, light makeup. So I'm gonna take that off. I'll show you my skincare routine, take a body shower, put some comfies on, and then we'll come out here and make some dinner. And then I'll show you my little nighttime tea that I was talking about in yesterday's vlog. That should be it for the evening. I think I'm also gonna roast some more veggies because I'm almost out of these. And I have another, I just have a busy week and it helps so much today with getting my veggies in to have those prepped. And I have some leftover Brussels sprouts and carrots left, so I'll show you actually how I do that too. Sorry, one more thing. I just was taking off my shoes, and I don't know if I ever told YouTube about the shoes that I actually got. I did a whole big thing about figuring out what walking shoes I wanted because I was starting to get shin splints and knee pain, 
and I went to Fleet Feet and they measured me and I asked a bunch of people on Instagram and y'all gave the best suggestions, so thank you. I ended up with these Asics. I'll link them down below for you guys, but I love them. I actually got the men's size because I have wide feet and that's what the Fleet Feet people told me would be best. You know, <laughs> I have wide feet, so it's fine. So I got size 8.5. Eight and a half in men's, I'm 10 in women's, if that helps. And I really like them. They're super comfortable and very easy to walk in. And I think they're cute. They're like dad shoe chic, you know? My book club is this Friday. So the book we're reading right now is Fourth Wing. Is Fourth Wing. And I have four hours left in the book. So I'm listening to it because I only listen to it when I'm on my walks. And again, it makes me want to go on my walks. Sorry, it's really dark in here. It's like another way I incentivize myself. I'm like, oh, I want to listen to my book. I'm too busy right now to be sitting down and reading. Like, I feel like I have so many things that I can do when I'm sitting and reading. But there's nothing I can do when I'm walking. So I like to listen to my book. Anyway, it's so good. I cannot wait. Our book club on Friday, I guess I'll kind of take you with me. But we're doing a, like, painting type thing it's hard to describe i'm gonna be painting a doormat essentially so i need to figure out what design i'm gonna do so if you have any fun doormat suggestions let me know but um it's like a byob kind of thing and i cannot wait i have four hours left and it's only monday right now so i think i should be fine that's just a couple more walks but let's do my skincare so on days that i am wearing makeup i will double cleanse so i'm gonna first Go in with this Elemis cleansing balm. I love this stuff. It's very, just high quality, you can tell. It smells delicious like a spa, love it. So I'm gonna go in with that to remove my makeup. And then, you guys know that I go to the Houston Acne Specialist. They are like my ride or dies for my face. So I use a lot of their products. So I have their cleanser, but another cleanser that I love when I run out of this one, I kind of interchange these honestly, is the La Roche-Posay Hydrating Cleanser. They're very similar in feel. They don't lather up. They're like a cream hydrating base. So both of those to cleanse first. And then I go in with toner. I just ran out of my toner. I, I have to go back and get another facial. Why there's so many flies in my house right now? Oh my God. Actually, don't eat that, Indy. Okay, I'm so sorry to see that. I'm gonna wash my hands. We've been having so many flies in our house. Oh, it's the worst. I need to get one of those. Oh, she sees it. We're gonna trap them in here. We're gonna get them. I'm gonna get them with this towel. Ah! You can see him. Also, don't judge this painting. She's the guy. She's. <laughs> She's quick. Look at her. She's like, I'm gonna get him. Where'd he go? Anyway, so sorry. Okay, I don't know where that fly went. Whatever, so sorry. Do you hear it? He's, oh. Did you get it? Okay. Nope. Every time I start talking, Oh my god, we got him, we got him, we got him. Guys, look how big that is. Part of my night routine, a little nighttime cardio. No! Don't eat it. I don't want you to, I don't know if it's carrying something. Part of my night routine, after I walk Indy, I'll just chase the local flies a little bit, get my heart rate up. Well, I'll rub it under my skin for like a minute on dry skin. So my hands are washed. Depending on how much makeup on, how much makeup I have on is how much I'll use of this. I don't have a ton of makeup on today, but I really just work this into my skin probably for like a minute. Can you see it gets to like a little foamy? So you rinse that off. Then I go on my other cleanser. Again, La Roche-Posay or this one. I feel like they're very similar. And we double cleanse. And again, I'll do this for a minute. But you guys don't have to watch this. You already experienced the Lord of the Flies, so. <laughs> I just got done with the body shower. 
So I cleanse my face out of the shower when I'm just doing body because I don't want to get my hair wet. But if I was getting my hair wet, I would wash it in the shower, whatever. So we're out of the shower. Now I'm going to take this La Roche-Posay spring water. I'm just trying to rehydrate my skin. Usually if I had a toner, I would put that on my skin, but I don't. But you always want to wet your skin before you go in with your hyaluronic acid. I use the one from Acne Specialist, but any hyaluronic acid. I really like the La Roche-Posay one as an affordable one. But you just really want to press that in the skin. And the water is going to bring the serums into the cell with it. It just kind of soaks everything on. Bring everything down to your neck. Okay. So you let that dry completely. And then I'm going to go in with my retinol. Again, from Acne Studios. This is why people ask me to do skincare routines. It's hard because a lot of this stuff is specific for me. But... I do really like La Roche-Posay and Drunk Elephant. Those are good ones. And then um, SkinCeuticals is bougie, but really, really good quality stuff. I love their vitamin C. Okay, once this is dry, then I'll go in with a pump of this. Only do retinol at night. I don't do it during the day. And if during the day, I do this like lactic acid treatment, also from Hyacinth Acne Specialist. Don't kill me, okay? Sorry. And I'll go in with... Um, this is, the, it's the only ingredient is benzoyl peroxide, 5%. So you can get this anywhere, like Walgreens. It exfoliates dead skin and fights bacteria. So it's good for acne prone. Okay, I just put that or I get acne. And then for moisturizer, I really like the La Roche-Posay triple, or double repair all over. And then for my face tanner, I've been loving this Tan Lux face water. I got it off Amazon. I'll link it for you guys as always. I have the light medium, but I think I'm gonna get the medium dark. I really like it so far. I just like the idea of it. It does the way for your face is completely dry. So I always let my skincare, my skincare dry down a little bit. Like I'll brush my teeth, but I'm actually gonna go make dinner. So I'm not gonna do that yet. But basically it's water, you shake it up and you just do spray. And then I rub it in. People say don't have to, but I'm always careful not to get it on my hair because obviously I'm blonde and I don't want it to tint my hair. So sometimes I'll wear this like headband while I do it. And then I rub it in down my neck, behind my ears, over my ears. Then I wipe off my eyebrows and like my hairline a little bit with a towel just to make sure nothing settles because I'm blonde. And then I wash my hands really well. That's it. I'm not going to do this right now because my skin's wet and I'm hungry. So let's go make dinner and then I'll do this before bed. But that is my skincare routine. I need to go back to the Houston Acne Specialist. I need to make an appointment because I my skin is just congested and I need more, more products. Um, also, the Split 59 leggings that I wore on our walk today was my first impression of them. I'm obsessed. Obsessed. The ones with the green stripe. I'll link them again for you guys. It, they're so good. I've never tried anything from that brand and I am definitely a fan. I wanna order more stuff. Close all the blinds. I'm gonna preheat the oven to like 425 and then I have these purple potatoes that we need to eat because they're growing brains. So I'm gonna wash these, pop those in first and then I'm gonna just prep more veggies that I have left over. I have Brussels sprouts and carrots. I might just do Brussels sprouts because I like having some carrots raw. And I bought two huge bags of these from Costco. And I'm already um, out of them. Indy loves carrots. She can hear me. <laughs> Sit. Oh. I rinsed and dried the potatoes. I'm just going to chop them into slices because I'm already getting a cutting board dirty for the Brussels sprouts. I'm just gonna cut them. Look how pretty these are. They're purple sweet potatoes. I'm laying them out. I'm just gonna dry roast them like this. I might spray a little bit slivers. This is the Misa knife that I was saying was in our fav my favorites video yesterday. I'm obsessed. I know I need to get a paper towel to put under here. If Matt was watching, he would be freaking out. And just placing them down they're gonna cook quicker and i'm putting them on their own sheet separate from the brussels sprouts sheet because brussels sprouts cook really quickly see how 
easily that chops through. We've had this knife for, I'm not kidding, two years. They're so pretty. Normally, if I wasn't getting this cutting board dirty, I would just throw them on the pan whole. Like I would just take a fork and stab some holes in it and then throw them in like this. So these are going in 425 and I just cut these into like quarters and I keep all the leaves. These little leaves that fall off are the best part of the Brussels sprout. And then if I try to cut them into equal sizes. So like this one's massive, so I'll cut it a little more. I'll show you how I season them when I'm done, but I'm gonna listen to my audiobook because I'm obsessed. And then we'll finally get into making my dinner. So this is what we're gonna have for the Brussels sprouts. The key to roasted veggies is you cannot overcrowd them. You want one even layer and you want everyone to kind of have their own spot. A little bit of avocado oil. And then garlic powder, of course. Garlic powder on everything. Onion powder. This is just whatever seasonings you like to your preference. We have a little bit of this aglio olio. It's basically just garlic and spicy seasoning. There's also salt in this, so I'm not gonna add extra salt. Make sure everything's evenly coated and then pop it in. I made this chicken salad yesterday. The rest of this chicken salad with some arugula because it's starting to sweat in there. I gotta eat some of that. And then the rest of these veggies. So we'll make a little, a little bowl. Just a little of arugula at the bottom. I love arugula, but making sure I'm getting my greens in. This is like salad inception. We have a chicken salad on a salad. And I'm just gonna do the rest of this. To make this, all I did was rotisserie shredded chicken, a little bit of blended cottage cheese, a little bit of Greek yogurt, some, I, I made it like pickle flavored, so I did chopped pickles, fresh dill, seasonings like garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, a little bit of mustard, I think, but it's very simple. Nothing too crazy. I'll eat some sweet potatoes when they're done. I'll have like a couple pieces of that. So we're not gonna eat that all together, but this is my not so cute dinner. What do I want to put on it? I feel like this green goddess would be good, but it's expired probably, right? This expires so fast, the Trader Joe's. Yeah, it expired in January, because it's fresh. It's good. It's good that it expires, but we're gonna do this jalapeno sauce from Siete. I love this stuff. We're almost out. Okay, sad day. Um, we'll do a little bit of this classic Bolt House Farms ranch. I, you guys know this is my favorite dressing. I love every flavor I've tried. This is a classic ranch. I love the avocado ranch. We get the Caesar. Okay, I'm just gonna do it a little bit. And this is gonna be my dinner for tonight and I'll show you when the veggies are done. And remember, I'll have a couple pieces of the purple sweet potato once it's fresh out the oven so that'd be my carb source but tons of veg good source of protein lots of color on the plate but this came together so fast because i had stuff prepped and tomorrow i'll have sweet potato prepped so it'll be even more even better finding quick little easy meals are just game changing when it comes to staying on track and just like having nutritious meals prepped and I'm not, it doesn't have to be like something different every time. So like a chicken salad, you can have that as a lunch. You can make it bigger as a dinner. Prep veggies, those are great. I like to prep ingredients. So like we'll do a big batch of like ground turkey or ground beef just to keep in the fridge. We didn't do that this week, so bad example. But I had chicken salad instead prepped. So that was kind of like a protein source prepped, ready to go. It's not like a full meal prep of, I don't like to put the chicken salad with the, veggies in a tupperware because i don't want to eat the same thing every single day i like the freedom that i can have it over a bed of arugula or like earlier today i had it with some cottage cheese and some chicken meatballs like i like having options so i prep all my ingredients separate and then i combine them with different sauces and all the seasonings that i cook my veggies and meats in are very basic so like garlic powder onion powder salt pepper cayenne it can go like any way so those are just some tips but that's how I like to stay on track because I don't want to cook every single night. Mm -mm. Okay, I finished my dinner, but the Brussels sprouts are done. This is how I like them, like the little crispies, but nothing's like burnt in my mind. Mm, best sound. I'm gonna let these cool and then I'll put them in the Tupperware. I'm gonna make my tea that I was telling you guys about yesterday's vlog. 
dandelion root tea. It's great for supporting your liver's natural functions. And it usually tastes like shit, but this one tastes good. I mean, I the way I make it. I'm heating up my water now, and I'm gonna froth my milk. I'm gonna froth my milk. This is the key, okay? The same milk that I use for, I need to get more. The same milk that I use for our matcha latte. That's why I like having just a bunch of these almond milks ready to go. I have one of these frothers. I'm gonna use the rest of this one. I'm just making a matcha, uh, a latte basically. I like a lot of milk. And you get a little bit of sweet with this. I like do a little bit more of this. I love steamed froth milk. Something about it, man. But I don't fill it up all the way with water because there's gonna be milk in there. See how hot it is? Now, I'm just going to take out this tea bag. I have this link down below. I get mine off Amazon. I've also seen them at like Whole Foods and stuff. It's just a tea bag. And I let it steep for about five minutes while my milk is frothing. And it's so delicious. And when I eat it with, of course, it is. I made little frozen dates that are filled with all of these little guys. Okay, so I have these dates. I took a bite out of each one yesterday because I wanted to try them. But basically, I just pitted Majul dates that I get from Costco and I filled them with different types of the granola butter. So it's just an oat-based spread. Put it in the fridge if you're gonna try it. And it tastes like, it gets a, like a little, like a frosting texture. So when it, it gets cold, cookies and cream, there's like white chocolate chips in there and then the brownie batter is unbelievable. They sell these two at Target, the vanilla and the brownie batter, so definitely recommend. But I just love having, I'll probably eat the rest of these, so like one and a half. I just pitted them, put the oat butter inside, or oat spread inside, then a little bit of sprinkle of sea salt. Sorry, you cannot tell me that doesn't look good. Oh. And then with the hot tea and like eating this cold, it's just a nice little contrast. Another one of my favorite late night, or like sweet treats at night, is I cut up an apple and I'll take a cup of Greek yogurt. I'll do non-fat plain or I'll do a flavored one. Um, usually I do a whole cup though. So like sometimes I want, if I have like the little Oikos or whatever ones that I have, I'll mix, I'll do a full one of those into a bowl and then I'll also add like a scoop of just regular non-fat plain Greek yogurt to bulk it up. And then I add a scoop of my protein powder mix it up, it makes it so thick. I've been seeing a lot of people on TikTok talk about fluffy yogurt and they add like cornstarch or something, or baking soda, something to their yogurt to make it like thick and they like flip it over and they're like, see it doesn't come out, it's like a, a blizzard. And I'm like, just add protein powder, it does the same thing. I'll dip my apples into that. It sounds dramatic, but like my protein powder tastes so good that it's just like, it's the best. I have it always linked down below if you guys. You can get a discount. Code is Blair, but I think the discount should be applied at cart. This is almost done steeping. And then I'll add the milk, a little bit of cinnamon, and then I'll eat it with my dates. It's just gonna be such a night. Squeeze the tea bag. Let's get all the good stuff out. It smells so yummy. And then I just pour the froth milk in. I also have to make more of these, so I'm later I don't know and I like to drink I like to drink a little bit of it of the milk and then add the rest in oh too much mmm oh my god mmm yummy Sprouts are cooled off, so we're just gonna pour them in. Put some Tupperware. The dandelion tea for you isn't like sweet enough. I've added drops of stevia before in there, or like a little bit of honey to your taste. But 
but the sweetness that's in the almond or the sweetness that's in my coffee creamer is good for me but sometimes i'll add a little bit more also eating it with dates oh this is just like perfect Mm -mm -mm. I love eating cold with hot, like frozen chocolate, frozen date, frozen grapes with hot tea. It's like my favorite. Stunning. Yes, I took a bite out of one to try it. What happened here, little lady? Huh? Nope. Ew. All right, we're on the couch. Just hanging out. And I think I'm gonna end off the vlog here, but I'm just gonna wait till those are done, let them cool, put them in the fridge. I'm trying to decide if I wanna watch something. Maybe I'll, I might take a peruse. Do you guys have any good series that Matt and I should start? Obviously Matt's not here right now, but what are you guys watching? What's like the cool shows? We just finished The Traders, love it. If you guys have not watched The Traders, it's on Peacock, there's two seasons so good it's a good show for guys and girls to watch together i feel like which is important to know <laughs> what should i be watching i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog week aka my night routine and i will catch you tomorrow i'll start vlogging tomorrow morning but then i'll just have tomorrow to edit it and then i can post the next day so it's kind of like i'm working ahead by doing tonight's routine so then I'm able to share more full days moving forward. It makes sense up here. All right, I love you guys and I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye y'all. Hi, me again. <laughs> One more thing. I just got up and I um, ate a sumo orange because I'm like obsessed with them and it was cold in the fridge and just like looking at me. As I was putting the sweet potatoes away, I had some sweet potatoes and then I ate the orange and I was like, that was really good. But something I like to do the night before, I'm gonna plan out my workout so I don't even have any questions tomorrow. I think I want to do a morning workout, then get my nails done. I was supposed to get my nails done today. It was too busy of a day. So because I got a lot of shit done today, I'm going to take the morning tomorrow, get my workout in, and get my nails done. And then I'll have the rest of the day to like actually work. But I'm trying to figure out, I think I'm going to do a Pilates class. That's my tip though. I'm just going to book it tonight. And then we can hit the ground running tomorrow. Okay, now I'm actually going to sign off want to tell you about my sumo orange because sumo oranges in the fridge elite also the purple potatoes were so good